With your first news at 6 Sports, here's J.T. Farabo. Last year, U Mary's baseball team hosted the NSIC tournament, but just missed out playing in it after finishing ninth in the conference standings. The Marauders will be hosting the tournament again this season at Municipal Ballpark in, Mandan, in Bismarck and Veterans Memorial Ballpark in Mandan. And after a series win over Southwest Minnesota State at home this past weekend, it looks much more likely that the University of Mary will be playing in the tournament this time around. Only the top eight teams in the conference qualify for the tournament, and after picking up two out of three wins against the Mustangs, the Marauders have jumped SMSU in the conference standings, now sitting one spot above the Mustangs in sixth with an 18-15 and 15 record against NSIC opponents. U Mary's baseball team has won eight of their last ten while scoring 94 total runs across those ten games. You know, we, we went through a stretch where we were, we were really going through it and, and uh, we weren't offensive, we weren't pitching. And um, other than that, we've had a little bit of good and a little bit of bad. Um, and we've been playing some decent baseball as of late. So um, hopefully we're hot at the right time. The Marauders have a conference doubleheader at the University of Minnesota Crookston. And that's been moved to Wednesday. And a conference road series at the University of Minnesota Duluth this Friday and Saturday. The NSIC conference tournament begins in Bismarck and Mandan on Wednesday, May 8th. One Minnesota sports team is currently making waves, and that's the Minnesota Timberwolves. Following last night's 122-116 to road victory over the Phoenix Suns, this year's Timberwolves have become the first team to win a playoff series since 2004 when the squad was led by Kevin Garnett and they advanced to the Western Conference Finals. The Timberwolves didn't just win the series over the Suns, they swept them across four games, which is the first time a professional Minnesota sports team has ever swept a seven-game series. 22-year-old Anthony Edwards has been the star of the show for the Timberwolves, averaging 31 points a game this postseason. The team is rounded out by the likes of Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert, who each contribute in their own way. The third-seeded Timberwolves are the first team to claim their spots in this year's conference semifinals. Minnesota awaits the winner between the Denver Nuggets and the Los Angeles Lakers. The Nuggets currently have a 3-1 series lead. 2020 Mr. Basketball recipient and Devils Lake grad Grant Nelson has announced that he'll be returning to Alabama for his fifth and final year of college basketball eligibility. It'll be Nelson's second season with the Crimson Tide, having transferred to the SEC after becoming a one-time first-team All-Summit League player over three years at North Dakota State. Nelson was a massive part of the Crimson Tide's run to the Final Four, most notably with a 24-point, 12-rebound double-double against the North Carolina Tar Heels in the Sweet 16. The Minnesota Twins are riding a seven-game win streak after sweeping their series against the Los Angeles Angels. Carlos Correa returns tonight from the injured list with the Twins as they take on the White Sox this evening. First pitch is scheduled for 6.40 p.m. in Chicago. And tonight, it's winner-take-all for the Bobcats in Game 5 against the Aberdeen Weeks. The series is knotted up at two apiece. Putt drop is set for 7-15 tonight. I'd like to, like to keep us on edge. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be right back after this. <laughs> 